whose production is a success in the Fayetteville Shale, and which company has increased reserves in 2007. Will the company's sales agreement take off? All this and more when we come back. Hello, and welcome back to Energy Scout News and Information. I'm your host, Reb Byers. Today's segment will focus on production within the energy industry. In breaking news, Brazilian state-run giant Petrobras has said that the computers containing important information of oil and gas field work in the country's offshore play have been stolen. The company said it has copies of the stolen data, but did not specify the nature of the data. The transport of the data equipment was under the charge of a third-party company whose name was not disclosed. In other news, Blaze Energy Corporation announced that two additional wells went into production prior to January 31st of 2008, making a total of six wells connected in the Fayetteville Shale to the pipeline. According to Mike Thompson, the president of Blaze Energy, he stated that Blaze Energy's production levels are exceeding the expectations and we as a management team had established for the company. The upward momentum shareholders are seeing is a trend we anticipate will continue. The operations update will be released at a later time with further information. Now let's see what's going on with other news in the energy industry. InGas Resources Incorporated announced that its estimated proved reserves at year-end 2007 were 105 billion cubic feet equivalent, of which 46% were proved developed. Based on annualized fourth quarter production, the reserve life index at the end of 2007 was 28 and a half years overall and approximately 13 years for the company's proved developed producing reserves. Callum Petroleum Company has signed a purchase and sales agreement with CIECO Energy Limited, a subsidiary of Tokyo-based Itochu Corporation. Terms of the agreement provide for Callum to sell CIECO a 50% working interest within the Entrada field, which is located in the deep water region of the Gulf of Mexico, for total cash consideration of $175 million and additional contingent cash payments based upon field production milestones. Let's take a look at today's market numbers. It's time for our leaders and laggards. Leading the pack today is Daughtry Resources, who is up 9.92%. Lagging behind seems to be Energy Partners, who has fallen behind a bit, 1.73%. Crude oil is up and almost reaching to that $95 range, $0.49 to $93.27. Natural gas is down $0.48 and is holding strong in the $8 range to $8.38. And now, let's take a quick look at our people on the move. In strange news today, farms always have it all. The fresh air, the great scenery, and fainting goats. Goats. The earliest known domesticated farm animal, today there are more than 400 million of them worldwide. Then there's this little guy. He doesn't get the attention of, say, the more fashionable Angora goat. He's a fainting goat, and he's got a different talent. Lisa Johnson breeds goats in Florida. These goats are called myotonic goats. Many people call them fainting goats, wooden leg goats, stiff leg goats nervous goats, the Tennessee goats, uh, Tennessee meat goats, so they just have all kinds of nicknames for them. They carry the hereditary gene for myotonia congenita. What happens is that when the goat is startled or excited, it causes a very temporary stiffening of the muscles, and when the muscles relax after a few seconds, the goat jumps up and runs on its way. They don't call them feigning goats for nothing. It can even be something as simple as being excited over being fed. The adult animals um, typically, um, they keep their balance better and what they will end up doing is uh, pretty much bracing on four legs. Man, that's a bad case of Charlie horse, or Charlie goat. Oh well, at least if they get loose, they won't get too far. 
And that's it for today's Energy Headlines. Be sure to check out our website daily at energyscout.com for up-to-date rig counts as well as company information. And stay tuned with us tomorrow. We will take a look at drilling within the energy industry. For Energy Scout News and Information, I'm your host, Red Byers. Every day, it seems, talk of oil, energy, the environment. Where are the answers? Right now, we're the largest producer of clean, renewable geothermal energy in the world, generating enough energy to power 7 million homes. Imagine that, an oil company as part of the solution. This is the power of human energy.